Right, this is my latest project. Basically what I want to do is um, run Swift as I found out that it can do at 4K um, at the maximum settings, throwing money at the problem, putting coin to it and seeing basically what it takes to do it within reason. So I've maxed out, I think on the areas I need to, what I'm going to do is take you through the stuff I've bought in this part one, subscribe obviously to see part two when it comes online so you can see the performance and kind of what you can get for about a grand 1200 quid because at the moment I was running um, Swift on a laptop 30 frames per second mediocre setting so what we've gone for is starting with the kind of uh, the motherboard is uh, as Asus Strix 270G which is the latest um, latest motherboard kind of chipset from Asus that's kind of top of the line I'd probably say bar kind of one above it that was about 170 quid and then we've maxed out on the processor which is the i7 7700k so we can't get any better than that um, I've gone for not that it affects gaming performance just boot time uh, Samsung 960 Evo M.2 drive uh, about as quick as you're going to get really um, 250 gig obviously just to run Swift doesn't really need any much space but that's just for a quick boot up on the memory um, I only went for 16 gig I think upgrading to 32 probably isn't going to make much difference but Corsair pretty decent RAM so again pretty happy with that to be honest with you 650 watt power supply that will power the system modular um i haven't built a pc for about 15 years so i mean it's gonna be pretty straightforward plug and play i would have thought and obviously the beast in the machine this is the geforce gtx 980 ti i was weighing up between this the 1080 and the 1080 ti but obviously this was 300 quid on ebay um a 1080 is about 500, a TI is about 650, 700. Is it worth the extra? I mean, with this card here, you can run it in kind of a, an OC overclock mode, one button, because I'm not really bothered about overclocking, but this will just do one factory setting into OC mode. I mean, the card is an absolute beast in size, but checking the website Swiftalyzer, which gives you similar system, system frame weights, this should be running at about, 80 to 90 in 4k so what I'm going to do is build the system up put the links below so you can see all the full specs on the Amazon website if you want to take a look further if you've got your own build questions pop them below but we'll get this rig together and we'll get a 4k TV and I'll let you know um, how it performs any questions just pop them below